pre-workout. You've heard from a friend from a friend who knows a guy who knows a guy that pre-workout is the thing to have to get your bench to 300. You've heard it, people have talked about it, you've seen it, you don't know what it is. What is it? What does it do? How does it help you? Is it crazy? Is it a drug? We're here to answer these questions. Pre-workout is basically like, a lot of people see it as what takes them to the next level. Kind of takes their gym bro up 9,000. And we're gonna go into detail what makes a good pre-workout, what makes a bad pre-workout, what it does, the negative of it. But first and foremost, let's address what does it do. Ah! Call me Haymaker! So different pre-workouts have different purposes. Some will get you mentally focused, some will get you fired up. Some will help you recover faster, burn fat, some do all four. Now one thing to keep in mind is that a lot of them can actually serve as a placebo effect and some of them are actually used as a marketing scheme. Marketing unfortunately is a large part of the fitness industry and sometimes people will put that first ahead of the product itself. In fact, most times, oftentimes, especially these big companies Shreds. <laughs> <laughs> that want to make a quick buck and market their supplements to everyone. They want to market it to you, the hardcore gym goer, the bro goer, the weekend warrior, all y'all. To know which one is actually good, the key thing you're going to do is look at the ingredients. The ingredients and tell it all. That is to make sure it's not a proprietary blend. That is a mouthful. Try saying that five times fast. But basically what a proprietary blend is, is when they basically, they get 10 different flavors of ice cream, shove it in one, and they don't tell you the different flavors they use to make the one flavor. So you don't actually know how much of each ingredient is in there. They do this to save money, and they often do this to chintz you without you knowing, just to think that it's a magic blend that's gonna get you fired up, when secretly they're just hiding their mistakes or their ways to save money and cut costs at your expense. So if you see this, stay away. All right, so now we're gonna talk about ingredients that are recommended and generally good to be looking for in a pre-workout supplement. Protein? Nah, man, not protein. The first one we're talking about is citrulline malate. But now, I love protein. <laughs> now, the recommended dosage for this is six grams per serving. It's even huge. <laughs> this is produced in the body along with other amino acids that you consume. So this ingredient is also known to reduce lactic acid. So the burning sensation that you guys often feel throughout your workouts that causes you to stop early, this ingredient is actually gonna reduce that. Shut up with this nerdy crap I'm always burning. Is it gonna make me look juicy, bro? Actually, yes. This ingredient is actually known to produce the pump. So basically, that's what beta alanine feels like. It's the tingly. The tingly is fun. Some people hate the tingly, so you're really gonna wanna know if you want it or not. If you like that feeling, good for you. However, it does other things as well. Once beta alanine is absorbed in the body, it gets changed into carnosine, which basically can help you with recovery and athletic performance. There's been several studies that show beta alanine helps sprinters, it helps with aerobic output, as well as it makes you feel tingly and can help you push through that workout. Caffeine, America's fuel. This is probably the ingredient you're all waiting for. For me, I like to have a pre-workout that has somewhere between 100 and 300 milligrams of caffeine to keep me super fired up and focused. Now, some of the key benefits of caffeine are they keep you mentally focused, it'll keep you going longer in the gym, it'll improve your endurance, but it's also gonna help with the loss of fat, enhanced strength output, and much more. The list goes on. All right, another key thing to look out for is creatine monohydrate. A lot of people supplement this on its own. However, if you have a good pre-workout, you can skip your scoop of creatine for the day. So what creatine does, short and simple, is it helps with ATP generation in your muscles, which help your body effectively use the water and amino acid synthesis in your muscles. This is gonna help your endurance and help you perform more at a higher level. Creatine, is that a steroid? I don't think so. I don't think anyone would like inject it or anything. I don't know, man. Look, I'm just gonna shrimp just, just once. All right, I'm not gonna be like that guy. Some of the key benefits are they're gonna help you with fatigue for your strength, your sprint, your aerobic capacity, alongside other benefits that may help with body composition. Now this is highly disputed. I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Go with the science. If you disagree with this, you're wrong, plain and simple. You should have about three grams in your pre-workout. Optimal use would be about two to five grams, stopping it there. 
comment. We'll fight you in the comment section. That's it. <laughs> All right, another one to look out for is alpha GPC. Now this is especially effective because of acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter, which has a main ability to help with cognitive function and memory. Higher levels simply mean higher focus. Higher focus, higher performance. Alpha GPC is a precursor to acetylcholine. So basically, if you can get your alpha GPC up, you can help with this and then get the benefits of the cognitive focus and memory ability. That's why this is a banger. A lot of people don't think of this when they think pre-workout, but you should, now you know. The benefits of this for your workout are you're gonna see some increased drive and even, maybe just even, a slight increase in growth hormone. You know growth hormone is your homie when it comes to lifting. <laughs> I would recommend about 150 milligrams per serving for a solid pre-workout. All right, so now that the chemicals are all said and done, let's jump into the costs. So I just want to quickly talk to you about the price of pre-workouts and what you should be expecting with regards to value. So majority of people when looking at pre-workouts and judging which one they're going to choose, they'll take a look at the servings, they'll take a look at the price, and they'll compare the two. Now what I'm here to tell you is that what I like to do is I actually like to take a look at the ingredients um, and then also you know, to make a comparison with the servings and price using mainly the ingredients. So we're gonna start looking at this pre-workout number one that has 100 milligrams of caffeine, two grams of beta alanine, 45 servings and $30 in price. So a lot of people will think that this is amazing. Well, yeah, the price is $30. You get 45 servings, especially compared to this one where you're only getting 30 servings and it is $40, but just wait. So this pre-workout number two actually has 300 milligrams of caffeine and six grams of beta alanine. Now for this, uh, for this pre-workout to go down to this level, for us to decrease the caffeine intake, we would divide it by three to get down to 100 milligrams. We would divide this by three to get down to two grams, making it, in, making it an equal value so the serving and the intake will be the same, which will bring this value up to 90 servings for just $40. So one thing you guys wanna always keep in mind is that everyone's gonna have different caffeine intake levels, different beta alanine, all the different ingredients. So you're gonna wanna look at that and see which one is gonna be giving you the best value and the best bang for your buck. Don't just compare servings and price or you will be highly misled, especially with the supplement industry. Okay, so our focus of this video is more so inform you about its ability and performance, not so much to do a taste test review. We're gonna review some specifically, including the company we're sponsored by. It might be a little bit biased, but we're keeping it true to what we said in this video. This video is universal, so we'll see how it holds up. But taste, uh, the bigger the company, usually the better the taste profile. So they have more money and resources to get different ingredients, different mixtures, and play around with things. As far as taste goes, especially in supplements, it's really gonna depend on personal preference. So I'm gonna leave it to you guys to go out there and try several different kinds. Okay. So basically, it's gonna give you a ton of energy for That's your That's a lot of energy, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls. So well, Kyle, it will give you too, too much energy. That's why there's so many funny videos if you dive into it. Whoa. Oh. Oh. I've never seen a springboard break like that. Like many things, I would say walk, don't jump into pre-workout. Start with the lesser dose, half a scoop, even a quarter scoop, depending on the dosing, compared to our recommendations. If you guys want to know more about the negatives of too much caffeine, or what chemicals do with your body, check out this video here. It's a video we did, we went more into detail there, so we're gonna leave it there. One last thing you guys want to keep in mind is that you want to look out for over-dependence. So oftentimes, including myself, you take pre-workout so often that you depend on it and when you actually don't have access to it, you have the worst workouts. And that's not a normal thing. You should never be dependent on any supplement. So for that reason, I'd recommend maybe twice a week for a two week period of time, taking a week off and then repeat. And then obviously if it has a lot of caffeine, don't take caffeine before bed. I'm not your mother, but trust me, I wouldn't do this. You'll be up forever. Thanks so much for checking in. I'm Josh, it's Kyle. We're from Gloss Fitness. If this is your first time seeing a video from us, please subscribe, it means the world. We make lots of great content like this. Drop a like if you liked it. Please share it with a friend if you learned something or someone who you think this would help. Thank you so much uh, for taking the time to watch us over anything. Peace and we'll see you in the next video. Scotty loves monsters. Oh.
better drink my monster energy drink. <laughs> now I'm awake and ready to work out.